What are we going to part out next? There's a couple of options. I'll have to figure it out. I think we're going to do this one. Because it's retired. Alright, welcome to Friday, July 17th. Check our sales. We have 14 on eBay. Not very much, honestly. Uh, but I'm about to kick in a bigger sale here BrickLink five orders one that needs to be paid still I gotta check to see why that did not um, give an invoice let's see put the item weight so I'm checking for an item that has no weight could it be the but no it's not that what does not have weight Everything has a weight. Hmm, weird. Not sure why they got an invoice, but uh, let's go to Brick Owl here. We have two orders. So let's get this going. All right, that's the BrickLink orders are out, are done. And the um, eBay orders are on the table over there. Now I have to edit my uh, website because I just signed up for two events. Uh, I think I'm. Yeah, this is actually now no longer scheduled for this day. I looked on the Brickwood website. It's to be determined for 2021, I think. Uh, but I'll check that. Uh, definitely does not look like any of these are going to happen. So we're in July, but it does not look like it's not looking good. But I did sign up for local events. Uh, August 14th is an outdoor like street fair. Um, it was. I was struggling whether I should do it or not, but it's. Uh, I'm gonna do it, and then in October there's an indoor flea market at our local rec center I've done before, which is a big wide open space. I try to obviously wear a mask. Um, again, struggling with it, but there's no other events going on, and this is what I I do count on this income. I mean, you gotta think of it. It's it's quite a bit. You know, these brick worlds bring in a lot of lot of sales, so. I'll be adding these, so check the website to, um, and you'll see where we're going. Alright, this is the only eBay order that I have pending that I have not received. It's July 17th, and I plan on not buying any more the rest of the month. I'm really hoping I can stick to that. <laughs> and then, um, here we go with BrickLink. I have quite a bit... Uh, some of these are actually completed. I have this one right here with me. I'm going through now. And I gotta check the other ones. Some of these might already be completed. I just did not mark it yet. But um, you have quite a few. There's uh, this one from another country. That one, two, three, four. I think there yes, four of them from other countries. That These ones down here should be here soon. It's been about four weeks on one of them. Uh, four weeks Yeah, almost four weeks on another one and then three weeks on that This paid one. Have they shipped that one yet? Uh, it was purchased on June 26th. I think I sent him a message, but either way this is gonna dwindle down to almost nothing too I'm gonna stop placing many orders At the beginning of next week. I'll place about a hundred bucks worth is what my my plan is um, Through the rest of the month. All right. I just went through three smaller brick link orders. I got yesterday and this is what we are able to complete. <laughs> Just that In one order I got like five of the kid heads there. So it was that one, Little Nelson, and this other Little Nelson I can complete. And also in the same order I had the dark brown hoods, so those two as well. So I'm going to relist all these. These ones need photographs. Alright, here's a quick look at what we have for sale on eBay. 1164 or 67 items, which is very good. Right now I just threw on a uh, uh, 33% off sale for the weekend, right? Yeah, 30, well, it says 32, but it's really 33. I got one of those left. Somebody buy it. Uh, and then on BrickLink, 
it's a check of this where we're at on Friday at 9 a.m. 155,679, 8,500. Lots available. So there's a, or a quick snapshot of where we're at there and hit a thousand orders on May 2019. So it gives an idea. We've had a lot of orders in the, since the last 14, 15 months here. So um, that's it. I'm, gonna, I'm heading out right now to a neighbor's house, grandparents' house, to do some yard work and enjoy the great weather we're having out there. It's like what, 75 and beautiful out. All right, we are back from helping out in the woods, doing some yard stuff, cutting some limbs, piling them up in the brush piles. Always fun. And now I have these I got to rebuild from last night, Thursday, sold Thursday. This one I got to put away, I think. That's why it's in there, that one I'm waiting for parts. No, not sure why that's still there. Um, then I photographed all these. Not all of them, just this stack. Those are new ones that we'll need photographs soon. We're going to get these listed after I do this. And then we're going to go through these. Brick and I received with a lot of uh, Star Wars things in there. The droidicas, I think they're called, <laughs> and other things. We'll part out through a few of them, and uh, we'll see what we can do for after that. All right, we are set up here, and uh, I'm in a lot. I'm, I'm I'm backstage on another live stream here, at London Bridge Bricks. I just sent uh, get to the chopper. It's the only way out. A coupon on Bricklink. For all his hard work he did on the 72 hour live stream, he wanted the castle I built, but sorry, that's a little too expensive, unfortunately. So, got mail, just got mail. I'm going to open it maybe on the live stream. I don't know. There's going to be a lot of people in here, so it's not like I'm really going to be doing much, um, like focusing on anything I'm doing, which is fine. It's just hanging out and talking, answering questions if they, people have them. And, uh, let's, let's do this. I got some, my wife made gingerbread. It tastes just like a gingerbread cookie. It's delicious. Well, that live stream was uh, another great one. <clears throat> I got some work done. I just had these too many figs left to build. I think I'm gonna part of the skeletons. I already added some from the last contestant that had a skeleton in it. Try and got a mouthful of candy. I didn't get to these though. I'll get to these tomorrow, Saturday morning probably. Or just like I said on the last stream, or the last video. I'll get to these this week, and that barely got into that stuff, <laughs> so it happens. Um, so it's, uh, what time is it? I gotta head out of here at 3.30, oh, 12 minutes, take the rubbish and the recycling to the dump. Alright, about 3.40 right now, got through everything with these for that lighthouse of darkness, I'll just do those tomorrow, maybe get to that, and then I'm waiting on, uh, couple stones to complete these ones. I, I had enough to complete one and put it for sale right away. Actually, I actually have enough to complete two more if I wanted to, but I'm just waiting. I reordered some. That's it for Friday. See you Saturday. All right, might as well go through the Friday mail real quick. There is four Bricklink orders. I only have one pending eBay order coming, so um, everything you'll be seeing is pretty much going to be Bricklink uh, for the, probably this whole video, except maybe one eBay. I might get, I'm not sure when I'm getting it, but anyway, so there's a Bricklink order. Somebody local needed some minifigure stands that uh, I make for them. I've done it a few times, so I need to order some extra parts for them. So I came to this store and I picked up some Overwatch figures that were pretty good prices. This guy looks like a dollar fifty. Christmas tree ornament was four bucks. I think I already have one, but I don't know, it seemed like a good deal. Um, the Widowmaker is $2.50, Soldier $76.75. I'll probably part most of these out, just put them in my convention stuff, maybe one or two of each, potentially. I'm not sure yet. Oh, the Reaper here is here, two for $2.75. So I did part some of him out before. And I'm not sure if he's sold out yet or not. And then this is the same situation. I came here for these one by two plates. I mean, this whole order was like eight or nine bucks total shipped, something like that. And then I just got some extra things that I might need from their store just to kind of throw things in my cart. And then here's a, this is like four to my 40th some order at this store. It has a $50 minimum. Uh, I think this is about 100 and 
112, the 108 dollar order, something like that. I think I just placed another one this week for 118, I, I want to say, but lots of Minecraft armor. And then this is order number like 118, or something like that. Um, and uh, this is this order, so that is Friday mail time. All right, it's Saturday morning here. 29 items on eBay I'm about to ship here. And then with Bricklink, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 orders. It's crazy. I did uh, up my sale about 5% more than normal and 270 lots. So out of those orders, I see $9 in shipping I received. So all these are free shipping except three. So that definitely drives up some more buying, I believe. And Brick Owl, we have three, a total of 23 lots, so I gotta get busy here. Alright, I have the eBay stuff ready to go over there. There's the three Brick Owl orders. 714, that's uh, 300 lots. Here we go. Alright, Brick Owl has been packed up, and I just got the first Brick Link order 48 lots, 43 lots. The three looked like an eight. <laughs> And here it is, uh, 7.35, doing good. Alright, the largest order of the morning. Three, four, five, six, I have eight more after this, so 76 lots. Let's go. Alright, last part two in USB 11. I'm gonna do this. One, two. There they are. Let's see what time it is. That's a little manual thing. Got to walk over here. Take some time, but 8 a.m. 15 minutes for 76 lots. Perfect. Well, here's a here's a quick clip of it if you want to see it. Boom. We have another. The next one up. Uh, there's maybe two more up. We have somebody special that order from the store. We'll show that order here. And let's just talk about these Lego bags real quick. Uh, I wish I had more. I'm almost out of them. Once I part out some more sets, I have three more in there. I'll, I'll pull them all in here, except the little ones. I'm not gonna sit there and tape little tiny bags. Um, you don't need a sealer unless you're gonna use it for everything. Uh, honestly, the less clutter of things and machines I have, the better. I don't mind buying um, these little small bags to put the stuff in, but I'll always use these as the bigger bag um, from now on if I can, if they'll fit. And just tape it. You know, you don't need to seal it. I mean, you tape it, it stays just fine. So, and then I, I well, for me, it, it's fine because then I bubble wrap that as well with tape on that. So it's the chance of this bursting open and spilling. I mean, there's nothing to spill out of here, but these are little bags all over. They're very low, so. All right, this order has a note. Love the store, starting a Bricklink ourselves, learned a lot from your YouTube as well. Big inspiration. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you. I'll pull this order and show you here and what it looks like. All right, here's this order. The used parts, the new stuff. I got some printed Lego City tile there. Lots of sand green. Nice. And three, min three more minifix here. There it is. All right, here it is. Clear off the screen there. Forty-five lots, three twenty-one items. We paid five dollars for it because I gave them a twenty-five dollar coupon credit. If you watch the live stream yesterday with London Bridge Bricks, I mentioned I was going to do this for somebody. So let's pull it and we'll talk about it further. One eighty-seven. It says he took them all, but not those heads. <laughs> all right, there's the order. I forgot to film it, but I Instagrammed it. There's a big thank you for all the hard work. The seventy-two hour Lego community live stream was so awesome this year. All right, all the orders are pulled and wrapped up, ready to get a shipping label. 905, I started at 715, right? Uh, hour and 50 minutes to pull 300 lots. So say two hours to pull 300 lots. It's 150 lots an hour. That's, that's pretty, 
I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, that's I think I estimated I can do 150 to 200. Depends on if it, how many minifig lots there are. I can do up to 200 in an hour of minifig lots, maybe more. Thinking of this, because this is not even half minifig lots, but it was a lot of low count uh, bricks, you know, building blocks and stuff like that. So let's get these shipping labels put on, printed, put on, and go into a family social distancing barbecue hamburger cookoff today. All right, I took a moment while everyone is still asleep this morning to just learn a few things. I've officially added these four pieces to the Brooklyn catalog with the images. They were not there for the skull, space skull set. Um, this one sticker, I don't have the part for it right now. I did order some, and I'll be adding that once I get it, but... Um, so I definitely learned a lot, so I'm, I'm, I guess I'm proud of myself that I took the time to do it. Um, here's what it looks like. I have four items pending. You have to add the item first, and then you have to add the image in a second. It's a two-step process. Um, so they're obviously they're pending approval. But this is what it looks like. And I'm going to do a video on it eventually. Because I know it's, it's quite simple. It's just time-consuming. Here are the images. I'm watching a video somebody posted in the community thing, kind of just to walk me through the first few steps, but definitely know how to do it now. And uh, here are the images. I love that piece. Punisher almost. So I will check back once these are added. Alright, let's go through the Saturday mail real quick. It's got two things. Let's talk about this one again. This packaging is property of the U.S. Postal Service and is provided solely for the use in sending priority mail shipments. Misuse may be a violation of federal law. Felony, huh? It was sent first class mail. And it's not a reused package. They just use a brand new one. That's all I'll say about it. If you guys want the post office to stick around, then they're even using priority stickers to keep things shut. They're just wasting resources. Anyway. Here's some Lego figures. I think I paid like nine total for all these. Uh, the only reason I did because of Trixie from Speed Racer, and she looks to be in great shape. She just needs the, the, the Harry Potter hair on there, which I obviously have. I noticed that some of these dwarves, not the best shape, but anyway, be good. And then I got this as a Bricklink order. I, I had, I thought only I had like two of these. I needed more to part out. So I paid $21 for this. The other ones I think I paid $12 for. So when, like I said before, when you do a part out, you look at the overall value of everything you buy. Just so want to make it worth it. I could have just sold them as full sets, honestly. Um, maybe probably should have, but either way. But I actually found another. I think I have, I have four or five of these now. So those will be parted out soon. And I just grabbed a few other things. So that is it. All right, Monday, welcome to Monday, July 20th. July is flying by. Man, this is the time of year I miss the county fair. This is every time of year it was like this past weekend or the weekend coming up. Totally miss it. That's all right. Let's see, so I live for this weekend. Um, actually, I mean, it allows us to live because <laughs> um, what am I going to say? Because this is where we make the money. 102 items to ship on eBay. Awesome. And on Bricklink, what do we have here? Quite a bit. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 orders, 314 lots, 1,400 by items, awesome, and then Brick Owl, 1, 2, 3, 4, so there's 6, so I have 20 total uh, piece orders here, and Brick Owl is very, it's very small, it's only $55 worth of stuff, 62 lots, so there are a lot of small things, but I will take it, let's uh, <laughs> get to work, I naturally was up at 4.45 this morning, I just roll out of bed about 10 minutes ago though. So, here we go. Here's what it's saying I might have to pay in shipping. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, 
I'll watch this, see how far I get it down. Alright, got the shipping down to this. I just counted them up. Uh, 45 of them paid for shipping. So 45 times 3, 135. So it's not bad for the amount of the, the amount of money the gross sales I've had I, this, this weekend. Crazy this one sale here. I had to, I put insurance on it. Valued at $248. So that is awesome. So let's uh, get this moving. It's 5.30. Alright, I have the first eBay order pulled here. 24 items. It's amazing. An amazing order. So with this one they got free shipping and I also put insurance on it because of the value. So it ended up costing me $10 to ship. But it's worth it to have the insurance. It's like six bucks for insurance. <laughs> Just in case. So that is awesome. So now it's 24 of the 102 sold, so it's nice. Alright, this guy just uh, put him for sale Friday afternoon. It sold Saturday night, so it was like 24 hours it made it. <laughs> That's awesome. 7 a.m. I have all the labels, um, everything wrapped up. Just got to get the labels on the envelopes and throw them in there. Move on to the wall. Bricklink. Oh boy, me and Lloyd were busy this morning. There it is. Oh, I'm happy that's over. Now we go to Brick Link and Brick Owl. Here we go. All right, this this is pretty comparable to Saturday, which was amazing. My Saturday sales that I t sent out. Uh, there's more orders, but less about the same value. So it's seven just after seven thirty. See how long it takes us. And I think I have everything ready. Get the cart going. Just gotta go to my browser and turn the, the screen. So let's do this. The wall is paying many, many dividends. Alright, Brick Owl is down. Hopefully I'll get this done then I can get some food. Alright, All right, we have our largest lot order. It's, I think it's just over 30% of the lots I have to pull today. We're at 8.18 a.m. I'm going to do this one and then we got to eat breakfast. Absolutely starving. <laughs> but I'll get this behind me and then... Not too much after that, so, I mean, order-wise, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more to pull, but not too many big ones. All right, here is the 96 lot 231 piece order. They got some used instructions, and we're going to pack it up and see what the time is after, you know, putting in bags and wrapping it and getting it ready for labels is part of the pack picking process, I guess, if you're trying to get the actual time it takes from start to finish. I forgot to mention, my guess is that they came to the store for that Harry Potter head. Because it, it's kind of harder to find or can be expensive at some stores. Alright, there it is. It is, uh, I lost my clock. I did it sort of 8, 18. 20 minutes for almost 100 lots, ready to be weighed and shipped. So that's, this one is a little different. It had, the probably average lot was about two parts it was 96 and it was like 200 let me check here yeah 231 so when I mean, you don't have to count so much it does go fast um, if there were like an average of 10 say it was 96 and 900 parts it'd take me double this time so that's just how it goes all right we have a note here Keep up the great content. Enjoy the remaining six weeks off of work. This is day number one of week six. Thank you so much for an amazing order. Going to Canada too. Um, these are in a previous vlog. Some of these things here that I just recently put up about two weeks ago. And we've got some new rubber bands there. So it's heading out across the border. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. But three weeks probably it's going to take. <laughs> I think I just listed this one on Thursday or Friday on my Brickling store. There's no one else selling it. This is some Lego store female, so sold. This is hilarious. So every time I see this, I think of this Spaceballs movie, this guy. We just watched it last night. <laughs> Somebody bought this from in this order here. Alright, second to the last order. Got another message. I think this is a 
two of them had messages on it. One of them I recognize the name that uh, comments on the videos a lot. Um, so here's this order. Got some lots of quantity of red, uh, dark red, and some other things. It's nice. All right, I kind of hit a wall. I got all the shipping done at least. So we taking it to the post office a little later, but it's finally done. All right, I did a 10-day auction. Started at 199. We got two people after it now. 11 watchers. So when I built on the live stream, the 72-hour Lego one. So I could do pictures of it, and then here it goes. It's, it's gonna be gone, free shipping. It's a beautiful set. I hate to see it go, but it's part of the business. All right, it's about lunchtime for me on Monday, July 20th. I'm just doing a quick check after the weekend. Yeah, 1,096 items on eBay for sale. So we sold a whole lot of stuff. We <laughs> did, I mean, Saturday was busy, and then, then I shipped out, and then yeah, today was busy. <laughs> on Bricklink, 152, 832. I like that number above 150 and 8,300 lots. That definitely went down quite a bit. Uh, but we are going to be working this week. Definitely get that up again. Um, same schedule Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 10 hours I work. And then Thursday, uh, 6 or less. Friday, 6 or less. So we'll see what happens this week. Houston, we have a problem. That is a lot on the wanted list there. I just got done rebuilding and adding the parts I needed um, to my list, so I'm gonna do a buy all here and see what comes up. See what we can buy. Well, I didn't get it down very far. <laughs> I think I placed I just placed two smaller orders. Thought that's good enough. 20 and 13. I did place other 22 and 17 earlier today for other other things too, so it's good enough. All right, we were able to rebuild 43 items out of the 102. You know, obviously some are new minifigs that are multiples, so you don't rebuild those. But we are going to get these relisted, and at 3 th by 3:30 I should be heading to the post office and be done for the day. All right, here's the here's what it looks like. I really don't know why I came here. It might have been just a wanted list thing. Um, they put some change in for missing a piece or two, I'm not sure. But there is the order, and there is Monday's mail. Alright, it is Monday night, just ran up down here real quick to go through some mail. So, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five Bricklink orders. I mentioned in probably the last video, I only have one pending eBay order. Actually, I did receive it. I have nothing coming from eBay <laughs> at this time. All Bricklink, and I don't plan on buying on eBay. Hopefully for another week or two. I really don't need it uh, after that Walmart purchase, and I have tons of stuff. I just I can go through. So anyway, first Bricklink order. Looks like it says eight lots. I got here. I came for these shields. They had the good quantity for a good price, and got some other things on my list. So the evil green ninja Moro head. Those seem to be not very uh, expensive. It's just the headgear and the armor are. Um, then we got a order 119 from this store. Like I said, I basically order from them once every one or two weeks. This is like one of my smallest orders ever. I actually just placed another order today with them and it was like 19 bucks. I, it's got to be one of my smallest. They just they need to do another big upload. <laughs> so, I don't know. I certainly did not buy that torso. That's for the Banshee. I, I don't have that on my list. You know what? I don't think I ordered any of this. To be honest with you, I'm pretty sure I did not. They must have sent me the wrong order. I will have to contact them. And probably send it back. Yeah, this is definitely not my order. Well. That's never happened, but I can see how, how, how it could happen. Um, and there's another Bricklink order. Uh, Inferno, I came here, I believe, for that, or it could have been these armors. I was completely out of these uh, silver armors for Ninjago. That one doesn't look very nice. Got more Sharpie all over the top. Anyway, I came here for these. 
uh, for this store, and they had a lot of good CMFs for decent prices, so I was like, buy those things up. I just listed her for sale, but she was good price. Businessman, football player, some other mini things that I've sold before. The diver, I've, I've, I've been waiting for his head forever, so I just figured to pick him up that I can relist the, some of these Ninjago ones immediately. And then there's this uh, order that was shipped. Oh, they had to mark off that it's not really an eBay package. See that? Uh, on the other side is my address and stuff. So, um, so yeah, so that's how it goes. And then, so I open it, and there's a box. Ooh, priority mail. Nope, it's not priority mail. And inside the box, there's this envelope. And it's also not priority mail. They are, yeah, not sure if they know what they're doing is wrong, but you've heard me talk about it before. It's wrong. If you're not shipping at priority, um, you don't use the priority envelopes. <laughs> they paid for them. Do you, not, do you not want the post office to be around? Honestly, I don't think anything can save them, uh, except our government keep giving them money to keep them in business, but either way, do your part. And I don't know why I came here. I can't see everything in there. There's a lot of, uh... It might have just been that I had stuff on my list. Let me open it up. So here's this order. And it, the paper's inside it, even. No, these, this is not the right order, folks. So I'm not sure what they're going to do. It's a $50 order, $45 worth of parts. They must have sent my parts to whoever this person was supposed to get these parts and I definitely do not need these parts